Good day everyone, just out my cold garage tonight. Um, it's the middle of winter here in Australia um, and tonight is probably as cold as an English summer. So I'm just going to show you in this video how to adjust the, um, the speed on your drill press and it's quite simple to do. Um, and if you've never done it before or you, you're going to buy a new um, drill press, you might not know how to do it, so hopefully this will help. So my drill press has got a sticker on the top that it tells you what the spindle speed is. Um, you can see, at, um, I'll just zoom in there, you can see when it's on the top, when the belt is on the top, it's 2,500 2, RPM and when it's on the bottom it's 625. I use the slow speeds for metal enclosures, large diameter holes and things like that. And I use the fast speed for um, when I'm drilling PCBs because you, um, uh, you need a fast RPM for, for, um, for PCBs. So um, to, to change the speed is really simple, you just got to move this belt to where you want it depending on what the speed, um, what speed you want. So you're not going to be able to adjust this one, you won't be able to lower that down at the moment because the um, belt stretched um, to its full tension. So you want to lower the biggest and go down to the smallest first. Just move the camera down a little bit so you can see it a bit better. So you can see it side on there. I'm doing this from behind the camera too so it's a bit tricky but um, try and show you how I do it. Just push that belt down, um, like I said, on the, on the largest and go down to the smallest. And um, try not to get your fingers stuck. And just go down like that. Again, make sure that there's no danger of this turning on while your fingers are in it, because I'll obviously get jammed. And then you go from the smallest to the largest, and I pretty much just skip all four there and just go to the second last um, spindle size, like that. And it's still a bit of slack, and then you just push the um, belt down um, like that onto the last one and it goes in quite simply like that so you just use you just turn the spindle as you're adjusting it as well so um, you use the turning motion of the spindle so that the um, belt falls into place as well it makes it a little bit easier so it's pretty straightforward to do but if you've never done it before you might not know what you're doing also if you've got a new drill press you might find that it's very difficult to make the adjustment I know when I first got mine that belt was very, um, the tension was 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 crazy. It took um, uh, me and um, my brother actually together to get the belt to move. But um, after time, now as you can see, it's um, it's loosened up a bit and it's a lot easier to adjust. So that's it. Just a quick one for this video. Hope it was useful. Thanks for watching.